Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Hey friends, I want to write about something off you real quick. What's your opinion on this? I keep hearing this something that has really bothered me here as your humble host of The Correct Views. And I'd like to know what you guys think. <clears throat> America lost the war. Don't we keep hearing that? Isn't that interesting? America lost the war in Afghanistan. Okay. If America lost the war, then why wasn't the Taliban able to control their country for 20 years? Here's the problem. America didn't lose the war. America won the war, and when the war branched out and became ISIS, when things began to become even more grisly than they were under the Taliban, Donald Trump soundly defeated ISIS. To say that America was defeated in Afghanistan, is to imply that for the last 20 years, the Taliban has run their country however they wish. That's not true. So let's take a good look at what actually happened. What happened was America lost an occupation. That's entirely different. And it's also, guess what? It wasn't justified. It wasn't justified. It was justified to say to the Taliban, look, you will either hand over Osama bin Laden, or we will make sure that there isn't so much as a pile of camel dung left for you to kneel on when you pray facing east. There won't be anything left. And you won't have to worry about ever finding a way to supposedly hijack a plane and fly it into a building. Because there won't be anything left of you. That was justified. You cannot win an occupation. You can't. Hitler discovered this. Now, again, pundits of history will, I might say, correctly add to this that Hitler also lost because he decided to not only run a war on two fronts, but he didn't take out Moscow when he had the chance because he wanted Stalingrad for the sole purpose of how it would humiliate Joseph Stalin. Which is good, I mean... Nobody wants Adolf Hitler to win the war, but you can hardly say that Joseph Stalin was a much better person. Joseph Stalin killed more innocent people than Adolf Hitler did. But I digress. That's not what the video is about. I get it. Okay, let's stay with it. Adolf Hitler was an example. Can you think of any, any occupier who has done amazing in the country that they took over. Well, we took the land from the Indians. The Indians were not one united nation that we took the country from. The Indians were so busy fighting one another and killing each other long before we ever arrived that they were conquered. We didn't conquer Afghanistan, we occupied it. So again, I ask the question, when has an occupier ever pulled off a successful occupation? There might be some great exception in history, but none comes to mind. So let's go now back and visit the very first question that I asked when the video began. I asked, did America lose the war in Afghanistan? And again, the answer, when it's really looked at and studied with any objectivity at all, is no, we did not. 
we took the country away from the Taliban. However, we decided that we were going to occupy them and dictate to them who their leader had to be. The reason this didn't work is because in order for this th that train of thought to be successful, you need the army, the military, excuse me, military apparatus as a whole, you need them to all be willing to die for the cause. That's actually a closer analogy to what America did. The, Paul Revere and people that were part of the founding of the country were willing to die for what they knew to be right. This kind of dedication, this kind of chutzpah, this kind of swelling inside of somebody to make their country into something beautiful. They either have that or they don't. And if you force an occupation onto a country, you're going to have the military, as we saw, fall apart because their heart isn't in it. It's not in it. Now, why? I don't know. I mean, you have to remember people say, well, that, because they were like this for so long, they're not going to change. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. They're 20 years old or so if they're in the Afghan army now, what, 23, 24? We've been there for 20 years, so what, they were three? You mean to tell me they were three years old and they were like, I'm politically astute and I like the Taliban, so I'm going to not be loyal to them when I'm 22 and in the army? That doesn't make any damn sense. Culturally, they didn't care enough about freedom, the correct views of the Christian faith, and I know that's going to anger some people, and I don't care. They didn't care enough about women's rights. They didn't care enough about liberty. Instead, they cared more about a religion, Islam, that's tied into so much dogma that even the more progressive thinkers within the movement cannot get a footing. That is how you lose an occupation. And that is exactly what America did. But America did not lose the war. That's a correct view. Let me know what you think, friends.